Okay, mayong gabi. Good evening to everyone, to all the televiewers here in Dumaguete City and also throughout Negros Oriental. Welcome to the special edition here in Field Products. Um, we call this show right now temporarily as I, I Greyhound. And my name is Francis James Call, and you can call me Fry. I am a broadcasting student here in Foundation University, and we are coming to you live from our Greyhound studio right here in Foundation University main campus. And this one, our broadcast is a, uh, it's a production of Field Products TV and Foundation University um, through the broadcasting class. And my classmates are here manning the controls, handling the cameras, and also directing this show. And right now, we're going to talk something uh, fun stuff right here in Foundation University. First off, we're going to talk about the Domaguete Adventure Marathon. And right here, I'm with the head organizer of the Domaguete Adventure Marathon. I'm here with Sir Joel Balahaja. Everyone, yeah, thank you for that. It was fun. And um, can you tell us um, about the Domaguete Adventure Marathon? What makes it more exciting and challenging uh, this year's Domaguete Adventure Marathon? Okay. For this year's Dumaguete Adventure Marathon, aside from uh, this is actually the first ever we had this uh, full marathon, yeah. uh, we, added, uh, we added some trails within, within the 42 and even the 21 kilometer route. Yeah. Okay, like for example, for the 42 kilometer route, uh, uh, some of the runners have actually enjoyed the trails within Chera Alta, mm. not only within Chera Alta, but also the trails within uh, West Balabac, okay? Okay. Then for the 21 kilometers, they have actually enjoyed half of the trail within, within Chera Alta. Oh. Okay? Going to Agahao. Was the, uh, going to Chera Alta, it was going up? Yeah, going up, then uh, down to the trail, mm -hmm. uh, going to Agahao. Uh, halfway is actually the turning point for the 20, 21 uh, kilometers. I don't know right, if you right. know the exact numbers uh, who registered for the event. Actually, for the total number of uh, registrants, we had a total of 3,517. Right. Okay? That is for, for all of the category. For the 42 kilometers, we had uh, 80. 80 it's registrants, a lot already. Yeah, it's okay? a lot for, for this year. For the 42 year. kilometers. For the 21 kilometers, we had 178. Mm -hmm. And the rest are actually for the 10.5, 5 kilometers, and 3 kilometers. And, um, if people were there, if you noticed, uh, there was like uh, different colors of skins there. So it, it, it's even more beautiful. It's even more beautiful because you're not seeing just Filipinos or from Dumaguete, but you're seeing uh, a lot of people come from different places. And I saw the list of the, like for example, the participants oh. there. Um, can you name some participants, like groups or from people who are not from Dumaguete? Actually, uh, some, there are actually some groups from Manila, yeah. uh, specifically the ones from Pasig, yeah. then from, uh, from Cebu also, there are right. some participants from Cebu, from Silay. Mm -hmm. Okay, wherein uh, one of the participants from uh, Silay is actually the two-time, two-time... A uh, oh, uh, winner, oh, winner. Champ champion. Uh, champion uh, yeah. for the Dumaguete Adventure Marathon. Yeah. But, uh, and luckily for this year, uh, is only on the fourth. Okay? Right. Mm -hmm. For this year, we had some some foreigners mm -hmm. who have actually uh, participated on the uh, marathon. Yeah, so this is the first that we involve. Oh, oh, there are foreigners who registered on our marathon. Even though we had also some foreigners before, but mm -hmm. this time there are a lot. Yeah. Okay? When when I say a lot, comparing with previous years, mm -hmm. this time we had a, a total of around nine, no, right. nine to ten. Okay, there's actually even one, one re who registered all the way from Singapore. Yeah. From Singapore, just came came over to yeah, run just this marathon. Yeah, just here in Dumaguete yeah. City. Yeah. Then uh, we had around uh, three or four Kenyans. Mm -hmm. uh, around two, uh, two Japanese, one Korean, and uh, mm, actually those are those other numbers. Um. Uh, okay, um, there. If you're watching right now, you can see the marathon right now. 
some of the clips. And I believe Sir Alex Pal, um, he ran uh, 21K. And some of the guys here, uh, 10.5. Yeah, it's very successful. Okay, you are not these three, three Yeah. Are, these are actually trails within, uh, uh, within Tierra Alta. It's beautiful. There. Okay, this is actually going up to Tierra Alta. Uh, some people are going down. And some are sitting down. <laughs> some are sitting down. Okay, that's part of the marathon. And what's so good also uh, about our marathon, uh, we have medics yeah, also. Okay. So it's easy for us to, uh, how many, can you estimate how many volunteered? We have actually a total, a total of eight, uh, eight ambulances. Right. Okay. Uh, there are actually a lot, of, a lot of Red Cross volunteers. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can actually... Uh, I can't give you the exact uh, exact number, but there are a lot really. Uh, the, there's a for the uh, for the ambulance. The, there's actually one uh, exactly position within the uh, Kalabnugan area. Mm -hmm. One in Balili, one in uh, Kambukat, one within the foot of Chera Alta, right. another one in Ogahom, right. uh, one also in uh, West Balabag. We're in the turning, uh, that's actually the turning point for the 42. And there's actually another one within, uh, within the finish line. Wow. Okay. And I believe uh, this is the first, okay, this is the first adventure marathon that has, that we are adopting this technology that we can track down our runners. Yes, we, we, we were able to, uh, you know, this is actually the first time we, we use this timing chip. Yeah. This, this is actually a Jaguar timing chip that we bought from the US. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually an, it's still using an RF, RF technology, though. Uh, it actually uh, monitors the uh, uh, the in and outs of the uh, of the runners. Right. Right. So, so uh, some students who registered, uh, you're mark absent because you didn't. Uh, for sure you didn't go, you went shortcuts. <laughs> and yeah, so we're gonna talk about the prices because there, um, I noticed for me, uh, during my experience, uh, my experience uh, of the Dumaguete Adventure Marathon, no one ever finished like before six o'clock in the morning, but someone finished like before six, he was a Kenyan uh, on a 21K. And I think this is, uh, this marathon is like, uh, are, it's challenging compared before. Yeah, before. So I think uh, we're gonna tell the people who are who love uh, or practicing or conditioning themselves to run for next year's Magadha Adventure Marathon to, yeah, to condition themselves yes. fully. And hopefully uh, they should they should also practice uh, some trails, not only trails, but also practice some uh, up. Uphill. Uphill, downhill. Okay, uphill, yes. downhill. Yeah. Just simply uh, on roads. Okay. Right. Oh, okay, we're gonna talk about prices. What's the, f uh, okay, we're gonna start on the third price. Or there's only one price for this. Uh, for the 42K, we're gonna start on the 42K. Okay, for the 42K, uh, we gave, uh, we actually some sort of uh, gave prices for the top 10. Right. Okay, top 10 men and top 10 uh, female, mm -hmm. okay, women. Same is true with uh, 21 and also for the 10, 10K, 10.5K, yeah. right. so uh, I don't know the exact number of uh, number of sacks that, uh, mm -hmm. that are awarded, right. uh, but I know the, the first for the 42 is around 15 to 20 sacks. Of rice. rice, okay, rice. and I, and again, uh, that's why there's. Uh, uh, can I get some clap clap there? That's a lot of rice there. That's a lot of rice, and that's a lot of rice. Um, that's why uh, the price the prices are rice because this the Magetta Adventure Marathon is rice is life. Yeah, this is rice is life. There's a lot of we rice. We are more on the advocacy that uh, okay, rice is life. All right. Right. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, what are we going to expect for next year? Actually, for next year, uh, the 
<laughs> the date for next year is already uh, set. It's actually November 18, 2012. Right. Okay. November 18, 2012. Uh, what we're planning for next year is that uh, hopefully it would be the same, 42 kilometers, but we'll try to find uh, a more exciting yeah. route, probably. We'll be expe expecting a more more challenging route. Yeah. Even though some of the comments for this year is that uh, Actually, some, some comments from the Manila. <laughs> Manila is that uh, they told me uh, in, in native dialect, uh, Joel, they told me, Pinahirapan mo kami. Wow. <laughs> it's a very challenging trail. Okay, uh, to the people who maybe didn't know, didn't notice, or maybe they noticed during that time there was like a cannon blown away early in the morning of fireworks, like during 5 a.m. That was the Dumaguete Adventure Marathon. And hopefully next year, Please, you can join us, it's fun. And we'll be right back for more, so stay tuned.